Welcome. This is our Algebra 2 Quadratic Functions Lesson Number 4, Factoring by Grouping Homework Review, Part 1. Please uh, make sure you leave any questions or comments if you have any about the video after watching. And of course, if you find it helpful, please leave a like. Really appreciate it. So question one says we write each of the following as a product of binomials. Be especially careful of manipulations that involve subtraction. So we're just using the distribution method. And so we're just going to multiply here. Um, the little rainbows, if you will. We have x times x is x squared plus 5x. And then 7 times x is 7 times 5 plus 7x plus 35. Now I like stacking up my terms. So I like terms underneath each other so I can get, so I can add them you know, a little bit easier. So I get uh, 5x plus 7x is 12x plus 35. For b, we're going to be multiplying 4x with x and 2. So we get 4x squared minus 8x. And again, with that negative 3, really multiply by negative 3 with each one of these. So we have negative 3x, but negative 3 times negative 2 is plus 6. So if we add downwards, we're going to get 4x squared minus 11x, because negative 8 plus negative 3 is negative 11, plus 6. We're continuing. Now we have x times x, x times 3, 10, 10 times x, and 10 times negative 3. So we're going to get, in this case, x squared minus 3x plus 10x minus 30. Then we're going to multiply x times x to get x squared. We have x times negative 3, which is negative 3x. 5 times x is plus 5x. And 5 times negative 3, which is negative 15. Now we combine this together, we're going to get 2x squared minus 6x plus 15x minus 45. But we can combine these two terms together to get a final answer of 2x squared plus 9x minus 45, as that's your final answer here. Okay? We're going to repeat this process with d. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 4 is plus 8x. Neg 7 times x is neg 7x. Maybe I'll just stack them underneath, just one underneath here, so maybe that'll be easier. Minus 7x. And then neg 7 times 4 is neg 28. And so now we'll have x times x, which is x squared. x times 2 is plus 2x. 4 times x is plus 4x. Then 4 times 2 is plus 8. So now, when we add this together, we'll have 2x squared plus 1x squared is 3x squared. And then 8 plus negative 7 is positive 1. Plus 2 is 3. Plus 4 is 7. So we have plus 7x. And then negative 28 plus 8 is minus 20. And that will be the final answer here. For number letter E, we see here we get 4x times 2x gives us 8x squared. 4x times negative 1 gives us negative 4x. 3 times 2x is plus 6x. And 3 times negative 1 is minus 3. Now, again, we're going to, for this one here, we're going to be a little more careful. Uh, I'm going to combine these two together first because of the fact that I want to probably multiply the other binomial and then subtract. Or then two by negative 1. Either way is fine. So we're going to get for the first pair of binomials multiplied together to get x squared plus 2x minus 3. That's the first part. Now I'm going to multiply x times x is 2x squared. x times negative 1 is minus x. 
2 times 2x is plus 4x, and 2 times negative 1 is minus 2. Now, when we combine it together, we can get 2x squared. Negative 1 plus 4 is positive 3x and then minus 2. But we're subtracting everything. So when we subtract everything, what will end up happening is that we're going to, we're going to now multiply everything by negative 1. So we change all the signs. So this becomes positive, that becomes negative, that becomes negative, and that becomes positive. So when I set this up here, I'll have 8x squared plus 2x minus 3, and I'm going to add neg 2x squared, neg 3x plus 2. So when we combine them together, so a lot of times you could subtract, but we sometimes have errors, sometimes make errors because we love adding so much. So if that's the case, and we're subtracting an entire trinomial, let me multiply with my negative 1 and turn it into an addition problem. Okay? Because it's the same thing. Subtracting, subtracting uh, is the same as, as adding the negative, if you will. So now we add together 8x squared becomes 6x squared. 2 plus negative 3 is minus x, and then negative 3 plus 2 is minus 1. And this will be the final trinomial we have for this one, for the for letter E. Now for letter F. Now letter F, we're going to multiply 3x times x to get 3x squared. 3x times 5 to get plus 15x. 7 times x is plus 7x. 7 plus times negative 7 times negative 5 plus, sorry 7 times positive 5 is 35 and so we get 3x squared plus 22x plus 35 okay now we continue again the same as before we're going to multiply the, the x plus 5 times 2x minus 4 and then subtract it from the first trinomial so x times x is x times 2x is 2x squared. X times negative 4 is minus 4x. 5 times 2x is plus 10x. 5 times negative 4 is minus 20. 2x squared plus 6x minus 20. Now again, we're subtracting here. We're subtracting here. All of this. Like, so we're going to change the subtraction addition and multiply all the terms by negative 1. So this will now become positive, you have negative 2x squared, negative 6x, and plus 20. So now let's rewrite this as 3x squared plus 22x plus 35 plus negative 2x squared minus 6x, again plus negative same as minus, plus 20. And so what we're going to do is we're going to combine them. Negative 3, or so positive 3 minus 2 is positive 1x squared. 22 minus 6 is going to be plus 16x. And 35 plus 20 is plus 55. Okay. And that will be the end of our question number 1. And let's put the full page here so you can see everything here. So you can double check your answers and see how they, they turned out the same way. Okay. All right. I'm going to box the first, first two as well, just so you can see that. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the end of our Algebra 2 Quadratic Functions Lesson Number 4, Factoring by Grouping, Home Review Part 1. So uh, make sure to catch Part 2. And again, please give us a video like, leave questions or comments in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and be safe.